Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Steven from Trip Gaming, and we got the legendary Jesse Cotton over here showcasing for you guys not a Goki deck, not a Shit Striker deck, not a Pendulum Greatest deck of all time deck, but what are you showcasing, bro? Uh, having some fun today and playing Valkyries. Valkyries! Bro, let me see the best card of the deck real quick. Oh, wait. Trick, uh, jokes on them. There is no best card. But because you are the Valkyrie god, you're going to find a way to make Valkyries amazing. Yeah, <laughs> nice fake laugh there, bro. But we're going to make this deck amazing because it's Jesse over here. You already know he's going to make the be best version of Valkyrie. So without further ado, let's see this Valkyrie deck in action, bro. Uh, before I begin, I want to give shout-outs to Peter Damasmo for giving me the Valkyrie cards. This is his... Oh, I wonder who Peter is. Oh, wait a second. Uh. Here he is. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want to be in it. But let's go right into it, bro. All right, and also shout-outs to my team, MetaMats and uh, Titan Esports. And shout-out to the Metamats better team, now. Royal Club Games. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I got my Valkyries here. I max out on them because you're going to be able to kill them turn one. I'll explain what they do in a second. Um, so this is the best one. This is literally just Stratos that gains 200 attack. It gains attack because based on your opponent's banished cards. So yeah, whenever you summon it, uh, normal special, it adds any Valkyrie card back to hand. So it adds the spells good. or the monsters. Uh, it's like the best one. Hands down. This one's the next best one. Because um, it's unaffected by spell cards and it gains 500 attack every monster opponent controls. Uh, this one's just terrible. I, I can't even remember what it does. It's like a union monster, so you know it's awful. Um, and then, unlike Abus, it doesn't even float either, so it's just like bad. Um, it's also it's a wind for some reason, the rest of them are lights. Why are you playing it, fam? Um, you need just more names? Need names, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's also just level 6, and I play Slash Observatory to unbreak myself. Um, yeah, because this one's also a six. Um, and let me make sure I'm doing the right. Yeah, this is the one that banishes your opponent's grave. So they have two, like, quick effects, like, trap effects. It's these ones. It's like DD Crow. Um, so you banish a monster your opponent's grave during that player's turn, once per turn. Uh, and then it's attack equal to the monster, the... Equal to attack the monster you banished. So it's good, like, you know, DK through Sky Strikers, you can just banish the rays of this card, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this one is someone that's you destroy a card on the field, which is really nice, because you play a quick play spell that's you summon fairies from your hand on your opponent's turn. Uh, or your turn, but you can just pop cards, so good for OTKing. Um, this deck's like really only OTKs, so I play other cards to make it better going first, but it's m mostly for going second and killing them. Fair enough. Uh, I play this as we're going first package, uh, the Venuses and, th and things. They're really going first because it's a one card Skull Dread, it's Fairies and Grave. Um, so your mischief can't be used if you control any non Valkyries, so that is an issue if you like use these. But even going second, you have a lot of things you can do with them, so what you can do with them is you can just like. Make Spider, um, Phoenix draw a card, and then Cerberus draw a card, uh, Unicorn draw a card, and then Ningirisu. So you're getting four pops out of it, which is wow. like yeah. still plenty. Um, yeah. But then you also, because the Ningirisu, you just have no, they're off the field, so you can still uh, kill them. Um, mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. So it forces out their back rows so that you Valkyrie can kill them. Uh, and if you go first, it's a Skull Dread, and it's four, also four Fairies in Grave, so it gets you to Christia immediately. So you can go like Special Skull Dread and then Christia. You don't even have to a Special Skull Dread on Christia. Yeah. Or Christia Skull Dread. Um, so yeah. Damn, bro. Um, they're just really nuts. They don't go, if they go inter uninterrupted, you can do so much with them. Um, yeah, and then we got three Christias. And we got three really insane cards. You ever played with this card and it was like meta? This card is a nightmare to deal with. It's still a nightmare now. Like it's really just anchor and um, impermanence to deal with this. Well, uh, the worst part is it goes to the top of your deck. <laughs> uh, something really cool about this card is that because it goes to the top of your deck when it's infinite builds a grave, you can like special summon this with summon sorcerer, link with it, uh, put it on top of your deck, and then nightmare draw a card and you just draw it. Oh, that's a sick interaction actually. So, yeah, that, that's really cool. It, so instead of like the play where you special summon sorcerer and add it back to the firewall, you just the firewall can stay live and you can summon this. So that's cool. Bro, how long has Christy been out for, bro? Uh, SOVR, which is... Too long. That's how 2010. long. 2010. Yeah. Uh, 9. 2009. Bro, I hate that card, bro. It's been giving me a nightmare since, since time. It's a really good card because it's infinite. It's uh, Floodgate, and it just adds cards back. It's so powerful. Um, and the spell cards to play the ride. Um, so it summons all you guys from your hand, and then you can manage to add the Mischief of the Time Goddess. Huh. So it's pretty good. Um, it is searchable, so you play like six copies of it. And too much for the time goddess. Uh, it's not that good without this because like you get an extra battle phase, but yeah, you need like more monsters for it to actually be worth it. Um, what's cool is um, like, if you do the shuffle, it, it shuffles back all your monsters in the end, of end phase. Fuse this, and I'm pretty sure you missed that with this card. So you don't, you guys don't leave the field, which is cool. 
Um, also, you have to play two because it desires. If you, if you desires this away, you lose a lot of kill power. So this is where the next kill power comes from. So you ride out your three monsters in hand, or three or more, but like three monsters, and then you add this, and you just have two battle phases. So you can do 6k, 6k, or whatever, and so they're just dead. Because uh, you can pop cards and banish from the grave. Like against Sky Striker, you can often just push them out. Um, this deck also has a really rough time with Goki because you can't really fit hand traps in. So I'm kind of just under the assumption that Goki's not playable next format, and this is a next format no Goki deck. Yeah, what's gonna happen like any day, any day now? Yeah, it has to. Like, um, I'd be like, I guess it's coming to the point where now the UDS is not gonna be with a new list, but I think after that there has to be one. Yeah. Uh, so celestial formation. What this card does is you can special summon a fairy from your hand. Its attack is half. And then destroy during the end phase. It's really cool because it's used OTK, some guys in hand. Is it uh, worth it's an extender. That? Yeah, it also. Um, no, we do some cool stuff. Like it's also a trap card because if you have Christia, you can special Christia with your hand, and then it's just. Oh, you could uh, the other card that's like a uh, Papa Monster, right? Yes, or the Stratos yeah. or the DD Crow. So it's a trap, but then also just you push extra damage or for a link yeah, plays. Yeah. So true, true, true. it's also an extender. So, like we have two Venuses plus this. Think you have someone Venus gets anchored, you get some the second one. So yeah. like, it's not like a broken card, but it has a lot of uh, utility for. Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, and then three desires because it is a combo deck. You need as many Valkyries as possible, and you play three of each. Real quick, bro, so, can you just tell the scrubs in the world that it's three desires and not zero in any deck, please? Um, I'm I'm not gonna completely agree with you there. It's a card where it definitely depends on the deck you're playing. In decks where you have a combo, in a deck that doesn't matter what you banish. Uh, I'm playing three like almost every time. Okay, good. Just wanted the people in the world yeah, to know it's, it's not a neg nine. It's pot agreed. Um, if you don't need the cards in your deck, like if you're not playing a lot of one-ups or like essentials in your deck, like even the Sky Strikers, I play two to three for sure. All right, bro. Then why don't you tell your boy Justin Singh? He doesn't even play three. He doesn't play any desires in True Draco. Ooh, well, I think the card's insane in True Draco. Bro, where's your bro, bro, bro? You gotta tell him that. I seen his list. It was just utter garbage. This isn't a shot at you, Justin, but that list was utter trash. I'm not gonna comment. He is my teammate. <laughs> uh, two hatred nades because again, it's an MTK deck. I do want to just push you back, bro. Um, and versus the Widow Anchors and stuff, this is the, the most effective stuff. Uh, before anybody says anything, Magical Bitbreaker Fuel does not work, because if you go to the battle phase, they can start anchoring your stuff, and just, there's no point. Uh, and then also you can draw the self-desires, your Skull Dread or whatever, and then and then use it, so uh, that's better than Bitbreaker Fuel in that sense. Um, so yeah, two True Nades, uh, and then it's more draw power, upstart, and then the last card in the deck, uh, two Celestial Observatories. Uh, so you put a level six uh, from your hand or field to the bottom of your deck and draw two cards. So you just need to filter out your high level monsters. You play a bunch, um, and then your sixes are these. Uh, so they get rid of the garbage one. It's fucking weird ass. Wind even though uh, sometimes if you get the Stratos one and like you don't, even, you don't even sure, want like, to. Sure, like yeah, else, if you just want to. scenario, you draw this in Stratos and you yeah, like, they force two. you. To, they force you to go first, and like you have a hand of like, say, this, and then like uh, this. You just need something else to do. And you like, you need to draw into like a Venus or a Christia to have a real play when you're going first. Then yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, um, this one's like a, okay because it's just a DD Crow, um, but like this one is just terrible. So uh, it's, it makes you guys attack roughly in half the attack. It's like Crystal Beast Amethyst something. It's a did, oh Panther. No, it's the oh, Panther. No, 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 it's the Panther. Um, what is it called? Yeah, it's a stupid Panther card, which wasn't good when it was released. It was never good, so why would I play that eight years later? <laughs> and as a level six. <laughs> so it's, just, it's just terrible. It's so bad. Um, but yeah, you need the names. It is a thousand attack. And even attacks twice, it's fine. Um, so saying you OTK people, you OTK man, so Valkyrie, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's like, if there's not a lot of defense, it's very easy to just summon your hand out and kill them it's like pendulum summoning without pendulum scales seeing the valkyrie are potential tier one and a half um yeah i go i don't know i'd say it's a tier two deck it definitely has a lot of flaws to it it's, it lacks defense you need your entire hand to be live um and that's why i play christias and stuff because they're like they're the closest thing you get to combo cards that aren't like um what's the word that also have defensive utility fair enough fair enough let's check out uh the extra deck now sure so my um, rank fours, um, which I guess you're not something often, but I didn't know what else to put in because it's actually not something you go into super often outside of Venus. Um, you need just utility, and then if you need like uh, an aggressive or a proactive guy, it's this guy because mm -hmm. they're all lights. Yeah. Uh, put the guys in the graveyard, and you hope to draw Christie, I guess. But uh, if you like low on cards, there's still a plus one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then as I showed you the nightmare package earlier, sorry, uh, goblin, actually summon stuff. 
drawing is nice. I like drawing. Are the Valkyries hard ones per turn? Uh, like the summon one, the Stratos? Yeah, the Stratos is hard ones per turn. Oh, unfortunate. I don't know if the pop is, though. Let me just check. Never been in that spot. Yeah, it is. That sucks. Unfortunate. But it's all good. Never had to use two in a turn. Um, oh, yeah, Ride has to have different names. You can't summon two of the same. So that's why it's never come up for me. Um, and then you have your Venus pieces. Uh, and Angara, so you clear off your board so you can uh, still activate your mischief. Uh, this guy's a fairy. It's really cool because it can bridge plays into your Christia. Uh, also, just got your guys boost and afloat, so it's pretty obvious. Underclock, just for game shots. Borrow load for random spots they have there. Borrow load, whatever. And then summon sources for the plays that I mentioned earlier. Sick. And I noticed no firewall, bro. So it's post boundless, right? Post boundless. Post boundless. Because that's getting banned, bro. That card firewall is, is getting banned. Bro, Jesse, thank you so much for this amazing. Tier 1.5, not tier 2, 1.5, Valkyrie deck. That was an awesome list. I want to shout out to your sponsors, uh, MetaMats and Titan Esports. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say before we head out? Uh, no, I think that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Before we get going, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're only 30 subscribers away from 10K. Get us to 10K. Amazing time Richard Playmat coming soon. Bro, everyone should subscribe, right? 100%. To the best YouTube man. in the planet? I'm, I'm good friends with Sam. I'm pretty sure Sam is the best. All right, I'm the second greatest only Sam. All right, guys, I'll, I'll sure, see you guys next video. Peace.